All right, YouTube, thank you for checking out the channel. We've got another video coming for you with some Banshee content. You all seem to like it, so we're going to get more of it rolling out. What we do is have another machine sitting here behind us, but this is going to be about that one. What we're going to do is a continuation of what we're going to be doing or where we're going to be going with this 2005 SE sitting right here. So we'll be ready to get in it blasted and everything. I do have my powder and everything ordered, so we're good to go. Powder, blasting, it's going to be the black, gloss black. With the illusion silver, with the alien silver on the swing arm and the kind of trimmings and everything. But there was a good bit of parts that I still needed to buy and purchase the parts machine right there. Paid a good bit of money for it, so hopefully I am able to get a good return off of it. It is a full running quad, but it has something on it that I wanted. And we're going to talk about that really, really quick. So what we have behind us is the donor bike. So I really like these machines and taking them back. To be more stockish you saw the 2009 you saw the 92 that i did and it looked absolutely wonderful and i mean i like them back to where they are there are a couple other combinations that i like i am doing the 95 it is going to have some mods done to it as well but it's going to keep that basic color scheme but right here we have is a 2003 yeah 2003 yeah, it's a 2003, and why does it look so crazy? Because it's got the 2005 SE Special Edition plastics on them. So what we're gonna be doing is looking at this. I'm gonna see if I can clean these plastics up and use the factory ones. They're not in horrible condition, but you know they could use a little bit of love. I mean, the graphics are probably gonna have to be changed out. But overall, full set of plastics are there oh this part and this part you can't get anymore and this is crazy expensive i mean if you can find this right here online from what i was told by some collectors this part alone like these two alone since they're not there are actually more rare than the 92 that i did and that 92 i spent like 650 dollars on those two parts this is more rare stated that if you find these they could be going for nothing if somebody doesn't know what they are but if they do know what they are in pretty good condition they can be going anywhere from like 800 to like 1500 dollars just for those two so i decided to go ahead and buy this machine and there's some parts on it that i want that i'm going to take off and then i'm going to sell the roller and sell the motor i mean it's a fully running machine and sell the pipes i mean you know there's a good bit of stuff that's going to come off of it get cleaned up get looking real good then it's going to be going on to the next machine but Let's me more of it. So the wheels do have a little bit of rash on them. So I am going to just maybe just try to sand that up a little bit, get them looking a little clean. What you see, like, I'm not really sure what I can do with those, but I'm sure I can clean them up. Maybe powder them, maybe not. I don't know, but just have them looking nice and shiny by the end of this. But they'll be, they'll look good for sure. Rear tires are going to be replaced. Front tires I'm going to just keep, and I'll probably use the rear tires that were on the other roller, the other machine, uh, the 90, the 05 on this. Motor's fine, OEM, no real problems out of it, but we're gonna take it apart, see if I can get it either Cerakoted or vapor honed. It's got OEM cylinders. I mean, it's gonna be good to go and I'm gonna probably sell it. It's got OEM carbs, air box, boots. I mean, it still has like, the factory clamps with that greenish and olive looking color there. Foot pegs have been fouled, but that's not really anything to do with the plastic. Stuff like that I really won't use. It doesn't have the OEM skid plate in the rear, but I can buy that. Front bumper, I have one of those coming already. But I think this, I mean, I'm debating on if I'm even going to just do this one. I, I, I have some Alien Silver that I'm gonna actually see how close it matches up to this because I like to know exactly how close that's gonna to be to what I have here before I start, you know, powder coating frames and getting them close to being color matched. But we're gonna have a work cut out with this. This video is not really gonna be about this. It's gonna be just about the plastics and let you all know what I've done and some decisions that I've made in order to get some things, you know, get some things rolling. So this is gonna be an official 2000 five se that we're going to get done and i'm going to take it back to close stock because i can get it 
So, I mean, the closest stock is means it's going to have bars. Well, it's going to have, like, the tours and all that stuff back on it. Everything, hopefully, is going to either be, it's going to be vapor honed and cleaned up. The only thing that I will be lacking in this is I probably am not going to go crazy and do all the zinc. I'm not really sure how that whole process goes, but I'm really not, I'm really not feeling that I'm going to do that. But, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this thing started up. Well, let me try to do it. The carburetors, let me try to do it. The carburetors need clean because it won't run without the choke on, but. right now but at least we can see it's able to start up carbs definitely need to be cleaned we'll get that done but yeah soon this one is going to be taken apart as well so we're just going to be working on the other one for right now all right so that was the recent purchase i made i worked last night 7 p.m to 7 a.m got off went home about an hour drive home Waited for about 45 minutes and it took a three hour drive down, three hour drive back and I got home at about four o'clock with this. I think I got a pretty good deal on it, especially with the plastics and everything and what I think I'm gonna be able to turn around and do with it. So, we're gonna go ahead and conclude this one up. This one isn't gonna be a long one, it's just gonna be a brief one, just let you all know what's happening. Next video, hopefully we're gonna be getting the powder coating done and starting getting that roller of the 95 put back together. If you enjoy this kind of content, hit that like button and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so that the next time I upload a video, you'll be notified and you can follow the build along with me.